Sean Bledenthal is my name. I'm an agronomist and research farmer. Today we're going to be making a biofertilizer called Super Magro. The way that Super Magro works and the other biofertilizers, the way that they work, is they limit yield loss by using nutrition. So we're providing the crops with omnipresent nutrients in a plant available form that will limit the plant's physiological stresses, it'll limit the pest and disease pressures. Both of those will in turn limit yield loss. To start Super Magro, this biofertilizer, we add manure, water, whey, molasses, and rock dust. So the function, the purpose of the cow manure is to provide a, an inoculation source for microorganisms. We have 30 liters of water. Uh, so whey is going to be our source of proteins, vitamins, lipids, and amino acids. And these are needed by the microorganisms. Molasses is going to be the energy source. It activates microbial metabolism and boosts the fermentation process. So in this bucket, I have two ingredients, rock dust and ash. So ashes and rock dust are our source of minerals, macro, micro, and trace. Put a lid on this, and this is going to sit for four days, and it's going to start fermenting. The biology in the couch is going to become active. And then after four days, we're going to add our first mineral salt. And then every three days, every subsequent three days, we're going to add another mineral salt um, until we've gone down our full list of mineral salts that we're adding. Air can leave the vessel, but air cannot come back in. That's what's important here. That's what we're achieving with this equipment. So what we're using is a 30-gallon barrel. This is a ring lid barrel. So it has a ring that secures the lid, which has a gasket. And then on our lid, we have a makeshift airlock. So out of one of the bungs, we have a braided hose that feeds down into a bottle that has water in it. So air, as gases form inside the barrel, can build in the barrel, will travel out this hose, and bubble out of the water. But nowhere in the system can air come back in. All right, so here we have our completed Super Magro. Um, we don't have any wild colors on the top. Uh, this is a dark brown color. Uh, the smell, the smell really smells nothing like manure. Uh, it's got a very uh, sweet, um, fermented smell to it. Uh, your nose is, the human nose is one of the best tools for testing whether or not air has come back into the container uh, because it'll be putrid, it'll be foul. You won't be able to put your face near it. Your nose won't be able to take it. This, this barrel, these get uh, diluted out and then sprayed, uh, depending on how you want to spray it, uh, either foliarly or as a soil drench. The mineral salts used in Super Magro are one version, but you can take those mineral salts out and add in others that would better fit your crop or your needs. This recipe and the way in which we're doing this gives you the power to tailor-make your own biofertilizers.